Tacoma Park Zoo and Conservatory is a favorite for so many, and they've reopened their doors to guests and are still offering some virtual options. Joining us live is Director Michelle Furr. Good morning, Michelle. Good morning. We are glad you're with us today. What has it been like to inviting guests back to Como? You know, it's been really great, and we've been hearing a lot of wonderful comments about how safe people feel when they come in. We've created a one-way pathway. Reservations are required, as well as masks. And we're excited that with the new executive order that we'll be inviting a little bit more guests in um, starting at noon today with the 250 cap. But we know that there are some guests that just aren't ready to come back yet. So we have a, an event or a program called Como Live. This is funded through the Arts and Culture Heritage Legacy Fund. And it's a virtual program where twice a week we are showing gardener talks, keeper talks, and a little behind the scenes um, of what's happening here at Como for people to stay engaged. But we've also created and reintroduced some of our inclusive events. So we are inviting back our senior strolls and our sensory friendly morning starting next week, which is a special hour during those times for those audiences. Yeah, I think it's wonderful that you have kind of options for everyone. So you've got these virtual options, but senior strolls is important. Tell us a little bit more about that, please. So it is a special hour that we open up. It's smaller than our capacities that we normally would do this time um, of our limits and let people come in with a less smaller crowd so that they can still see the gardens and plants and animals. And what's the idea behind the sensory mornings? Well, we know Como is full of stimulus with the large crowds, the noises, and so it is a special quiet time for people on all broads of the spectrum to come in and experience Como the way that they can. So important to do that. Thank you. And Valentine's Day is tomorrow. What is Como doing to mark the holiday? You know, traditionally, we would be doing our Valentine's Day dinner, and so we had to get creative this year where instead of having people eat dinner in the gardens for a multiple number of nights for Valentine's Day, we are offering that program as a date night under the dome in November. So people can still purchase this and give it to their Valentine's Day tomorrow, but um, we push back the event itself. But people can still come in and do the tour and walk through the gardens tomorrow. We have, uh, we were very sold out until um, we could increase that capacity but we have another event where people can also come in and experience if you're still looking for something to do as a gift for Valentine's Day it's bouquets this is a fundraiser through our nonprofit partner Como friends and they have been creative and came up with a variety of options for people we have bouquets in a box with a beer and wine theme box and we also have a garden stroll where people can come in and if you've never experienced the conservatory at night it is a spectacular event and I wish we had smell a vision because the plants and flowers right now smell wonderful I know I would love to be in the room there with you right now, Michelle. It looks just so inviting. Really nice. Well, and like I said, we are we are open to the public and people can make reservations so that they can come in and see both the zoo and the conservatory right now. And what better way on these cold February days? No kidding. Well, thank you for sharing all of those options with us. We appreciate you being with us this morning. Thank you.